Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is that I'm recording myself, seeing the formation, seeing the data for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So if you are looking for a video where the person is doing a trade recap or talking to you with hindsight in their favor, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, raw, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, and how day trading can play out, then I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will go ahead and pause the recording software for now and be back at the open. And well, actually the market just opened just now. So watching Nvidia here out of the opening gates, but I'll pause and if a setup starts to take place, I'll get the video rolling. All right, watching 125 here on Nvidia for a potential short. But let's see how it continues to behave here. I'm not gonna take it on this candle. That may cause me to get left behind, and if it does, then so be it, but. Wanna see a bit more of a formation here take place. So yes, at, at this point it's looking like that is causing me to get left behind, but uh, that it, it is what it is. Because at that point, it could have just as easily gone the other direction. But yeah, market hasn't even been open two minutes. Oh, this 124.50 mark is becoming more and more interesting. So, but again, I can't take it right now. That'd be too much of a chase, but I'll keep a close eye on it. So that's exactly why I was looking for more of some sort of formation. Cause just like that Nvidia popping up and people that were getting short and for beginners, that just means those people wanted to see the price go down. Uh, they are now losing money. If not getting stopped out, I would assume they're all getting stopped out. Cause look at that big move up. So that is exactly why Wanted to wait for more of some sort of actual formation because the day was still young and you can see exactly that. So yes, at the beginning, it was looking like I was being left behind, but ultimately proved to be a uh, good decisions there, but let's see how this continues to play out. Cause yeah, nice bounce, but is there any actual bounce or strength behind this bounce? Uh, that remains to be seen, but pointer being is if you're short here, I mean, that, that's a lot of pain you have to sit through and, uh, you know, it could probably be very rationally argued almost too much pain, but we'll see how things, in fact, let me hop over and check out Tesla right now. Yeah, Tesla almost just straight down, so. All right, I'll pause. All right, watching a short here at 126. Making a move, but is this a real move or just a little pop before it starts to get dragged back down? That's what I'm wondering, but want to see confirmation and confirmation being defined as 126. Yeah, I don't quite like it as much right now. And I'm also watching Tesla off screen, which I'm trying to keep an eye on also. Okay, being selective, but it's looking like there's not gonna be if there's a setup that takes place, but with the several stocks I'm watching, it should only be a matter of time. So, um, you know, there, there's no need to rush anything. And always gotta remember that as a trader, no need to rush. Just wait for your setup uh, to come along. All right, watching 232.50 here on Tesla and I missed it. Keep an eye on 125.50 here on Nvidia. Let me do a quick test real quick. Yeah, a bit slow. Okay, watching 125.50. Well, would be great to see this a green candle and then have it come back down. In fact, as I say that and kind of visualize it, that's what I want to see. 
So once again, if that leads me to, to miss out on a trade, so be, there we go. Very good, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Good. All right, let's see if this wants to come back into play again. 125, 50. Now I'm really liking the setup. Assuming 125.50 comes into play. I will go ahead and pause. Okay, watching 126 now. If it wants to come into play, but right now, maybe this is some sort of genuine bounce here. So watching 126, I will go ahead and pause. Watching 232 here on Tesla for a short. Two thirty two and now it starts to bounce back up. Can I apologize for all these pauses and nothing happens, but I'm not like I said, this is live, so I don't know what's coming next. So I'd rather err on the side of caution where nothing occurs rather than me missing the entry point or something. So oh, but NVIDIA. Now I have that issue. What do I go with? NVIDIA or Tesla? I'm gonna stick with Tesla here. There we go. And at 232, short. Not just a question of does this thing wanna get some follow through here on the breakdown. So getting some movement. Would like to see 231. So it took off half position. Okay, got the break there. Let's see if we can get some more downside pressure. Markets are also, I gotta be careful there though of a potential double bottom reversal because we are at lows. So I have 75 shares left. That way, if it does bounce on me, I've locked in uh, profits, but if it doesn't and keeps on going down, well then I'm glad I'll still have the 75 shares to participate in that move. But as of now, we'll just see what it wants to do here. Because it truly is a 50-50 right now. Are we talking about a double bottom or is this thing gonna keep on moving? It's pretty overextended. So I'm just gonna hop out there. So nice 172 trade. Let's hop back over to Nvidia here. Oh, that range got pretty tight here. What is that? 125 is actually. Twenty-five. Oh really, it's only a mm. Yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more of a pattern on this one. And played Tesla well so far, because yes, it is looking like maybe some sort of double bottom is forming there. All right, I'll go ahead and pause, but yeah, there we go. I am now up uh, 173. So that is what I was talking about there on Tesla. Has bounced back upwards. Now could be an opportunity for another short to the downside. Would like to see it come up a bit more. Same with Nvidia here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 124, 125. In fact, let me get this alerted here because that's oh, really nice level there. Nvidia 125, 25. Flush point one minute. So if you're not familiar, I do offer a private trading community. So that is what is being referred to there. But yeah, let's see if that can come into play because that's uh, an interesting level. All right, I will go ahead and pause for now. Okay, maybe coming into play.
in at 125.25. Now it's just a question of does this thing want to give me the breakdown? Let's see if it can get some downwards pressure here. And I'm short 125.25. Like the setup, it's just a question of does the setup want to play out? And now it's just a bit of a waiting game, but. Doesn't want to come down. That is the question here. So starting to get a little bit of movement here. One twenty five will also be a key breakdown area. I took out half there because I did get a breakdown and really no follow through, but I still do have. All right, took out another half there. Not really pleased with how this breakdown is going. And this is a market that is very, very jumpy. And I've learned that, you know, if things don't go in your way, right? In your favor, does that mean you totally jump out? No, which is why I haven't totally jumped out, but. Does it suggest that you should be a little bit more aggressive with your profit taking? Yeah, absolutely. But again, I still do have shares left. So if this does want to make a move, I'm still positioned to do so, but. All right, out there with $50. Well, we'll look at this on Tesla. 230.75. Ah, that's too scary of a trade. Feels too much like 50-50. Does it bounce from there again or does it get more? Uh, let me know in the comment section, what would you do right here? Before you have hindsight, right? So let's be honest, don't wait to see what happens. What would you do? Are you, are you taking that short? Are you going long right now? What would you be doing? And then to go back over to Nvidia, this is exactly what I mean. Well, it was green for a second. But yeah. That was a beautiful pattern, got the break. And I mean, it, it did move, I guess 25, I mean, not that much really, 25 cents. Got the break of that $25 or 125 mark. And then as you saw, it just really didn't give any sort of follow through. Well, if you went long, you're, you're in some uh, pain right now. If you went short though, maybe, unless this is a fake breakdown. All right, I'll go ahead and pause, but right now up 226. All right, watching 230 here on Tesla, but I would like to see a green candle first, so have this thing come up a bit and then come back down. That would be ideal. Again, watching 230. I will go ahead and pause. All right, I am now interested in Tesla at 231. Got the move here. Now I wanna see if it comes back down. So watching 231. I don't wanna hop in before then because maybe this is the start of a stronger move. Okay, in at 231.04. And let's see if this thing does indeed wanna come on down. So I am short, and now it's just a play of does this thing wanna roll back over here? So we got a bit of a move in my favor.
So once again, taking half off for those very same reasons, I got the move, not giving me a lot of follow through, but I wanna keep some just in case I do ultimately get a move. So I'm starting to come down a bit more. Nope, see how it went back up again. So I'm taking off another half. So still have 75 shares left. All right, all out there. Just couldn't get it. I got to move. I just didn't get the follow through. And again, as I've said, uh, in this market, for you know, for my strategy and what I've seen and what a lot of members and just you know, it, it's just one of those things where if you don't get the move, you got to be very careful because it can just as fast snap up against you like it is right here. This green candle. Now, if this green candle wants to come back down, I am interested once again. but need to see this actually come back down. I will go ahead and pause. So that is again, exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, you just can't, you can't make that up. Broke down, thought I was getting a move, was kind of getting a move and then back up it went. Now it may come back down, uh, but like I said, that's just the tricky nature of the market here. So we'll see how it ultimately continues to behave but I will uh, just wanna give the update. And then that's tricky, right? Cause I can see, I mean, for sure, there are shorts that took short, got that move up, they got stopped out. I mean, it came up through VWAP, it came up through a bunch of spots where you could, uh, you know, very rational and say, yeah, that, that was a spot to put a stop loss. And now the price is rolling back over. So, I mean, just very choppy nature here. So we'll see what it wants to do. Once again, maybe interested at 231, but wanna see it come up and then come back down. So we'll see if it does it or not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get short here, 230.81. A bit of a higher risk, but I am trying to forecast a break of that trend line there. So the idea here is that there's enough weakness that is ultimately gonna carry it down through that tread line. Uh, but there is a bit of risk in the sense of, I don't have confirmation that that tread line is gonna break, but I, I think that it will. Hence me wanting to take the trade here on it. And if it can break, can we get some momentum down through there? So knocking on 230.50. All right, I will go ahead and pause and I'll keep you updated. All right, approaching 230.50, well, it was for a second. So you can see getting pretty jumpy here. All right, took half off. Same reasoning as I've said before, but I mean, goodness, can I just get some sort of continuation here? So still have 150 shares left. I mean, just break down my friend. Took off another half. And we'll see if this thing can start to actually get moving here a bit. Still have 75 shares.
would like to try to get at least 230 out of these, but it just does not want to move. All right. So, I mean, I'm getting winning trades. It's just, I'm not getting the type of follow through I want, but um, up now $370, I will pause. All right, well, I'm gonna call it. It is 10.31 a.m., one hour, $370. I will take it. I'm not sure of many places in the world where you can make $370. And what I like to do to keep things in perspective is, because I know how it works with social media, right? You look around and you can look at yourself and question, geez, such and such made a lot more than that. Well, again, good for that person, but let's keep ourselves grounded in reality. Would you ever go up to somebody that makes minimum wage? Let's just say you made, uh, you know, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars. Would you ever go up to someone that makes minimum wage and say, you know, I I made fifty bucks in an hour. I'm not very happy about it. They would look at you like a crazy person, rightfully so. You would be very detached from, you know, wait, what? Fifty bucks in an hour, and you're not happy about it. So yes, would I ever go up to someone and say, you know, and let's say that this person makes twenty five bucks an hour. Would I go up to that person and say, you know, I made three hundred seventy bucks in an hour sitting at home in my bathrobe pressing buttons, and I'm not very happy about it. You know, I'm not, wait, they would look at me as a greedy, greedy, detached savage, and like I said, and they would have every right to do so. Um, so keep things in perspective. Like I said, that's an easy little mind trick that you can do, because sometimes you can want to go out there and feel like you didn't have a good day or you didn't do well, and then you, before you know it, you're forcing trades and trying to do this, that, and the other, because you saw somebody on social media with a much bigger gains, and the mind is a tricky place. But if you can just do that mind trick to yourself, um, you know, to me, makes a lot of sense, helps to build and keep that perspective. So again, $370 in an hour, I will take it. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. If you enjoy these, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, everybody. And if you do wanna learn more about charts, then I do offer a free training that I'm gonna talk about right now. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.